Hey everybody! Recently, Dad's Playing Games released a video announcing that my co-host Jeff would be stepping down from the channel, I would be continuing on, but we would be changing the name of the channel. And now the name has been changed, and since you've clicked on this video, you've probably read the name and seen our new logo. So this video will be explaining why I felt the channel needed a new name, what the meaning of the new name is, and what you can expect from this channel going forward. Hey everybody, I'm Alan, and I'm excited to be introducing Bricks and Blocks Gaming. You can check the description below for timestamps for this video and for links to some of our other videos. So, why the change to the name? Well, the original name fit our initial vision well. We were two dads, playing games, making family-friendly content. Now, there's only one dad, so the plural of dads by itself didn't really make too much sense. And even though the channel will remain family friendly, I won't be focusing on any family games or what it's like gaming as a dad, except for just what comes up organically. As far as why I chose the name Bricks and Blocks Gaming, I thought about what has been defining my videos and what I wanted to be known for going forward. And the common theme with my videos is that I use toy bricks and blocks instead of standard miniatures and terrain to play my games, specifically Frostgrave. I love LEGO, and for years I've been substituting my minifigures for standard game pieces in games like chess, Hero Quest. I've made entire Warhammer armies using LEGO figures, shoots and ladders that I've played with my kids, and of course now Frostgrave, a game that encourages you to bring whatever game pieces you have, which has been really nice to continue my interest of bringing my LEGOs into my gaming world. With the name, I wanted to pick something that both physically represented the way that I play my games, but also metaphorically represented the out-of-game content that I plan to be releasing. I'm a bit of a rules lawyer, and I like details. As such, I enjoy analyzing and explaining rules, discussing strategies, and figuring out everything there is to know about a game so that I can both play it correctly and play it well. My dad does stonemasonry for a living. And as a kid, I have memories of him using bricks to build fireplaces and accent walls and blocks to build foundations under houses and chimneys. And I think these two products represent well what I'm trying to do with my video content. Bricks are like my battle videos. It's the finished product, what you see, the actual game in action. While blocks are like my strategy videos. They make up the foundation of a sturdy structure, or in this case, what you need to know to have a successful gaming experience. As far as what games fall under the umbrella of gaming in the channel's name, for at least the foreseeable future, the only game I plan on doing anything with is the game of Frostgrave, the second edition of which will be released right around the time that this video comes out. I considered choosing a word in the name that was more directly related to Frostgrave, but I wanted to leave the name general enough in case I eventually decide to bring my LEGO soldiers into another gaming world, like perhaps Rangers of Shadowdeep, which I do hope to do eventually. If you've been watching my campaign where I'm playing through the Perilous Dark supplement for Frostgrave, I do plan to continue that, and I will continue that in the first edition. I'm doing this partly for consistency purposes, but also so that I might point out some minor differences that might pop up in the rules between the two editions. So stay tuned for lots of Frostgrave content coming in the future. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to click like or comment below, and you can subscribe so that you can keep up with all the content that we're releasing. And with that, I'm Alan for Bricks and Blocks Gaming, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.